Humans rely on nature. Availability of food, fresh water, and diverse materials for a good life is directly dependent on the healthy state of nature. Nature also regulates the climate and protects people from disasters. The functioning units of nature and the ecosystems provide vital goods and services. Take the Kalahari ecosystem in northern Namibia, for example. What a wonderful picture! Numerous herds of elephants roaming through the bush. Elegant sable antelopes carefully grazing in the open grassland. Vastly flooded extensions of the Okavango River, watering and nourishing natural as well as human-made agricultural ecosystems. A diverse savanna vegetation as the fundament to all life, but reality can look different. A combination of fire, clearing, and grazing drive the degradation processes in the forest ecosystem, and conditions are made worse by the impacts of climate change. High temperature extremes tend to become more extreme, rainfall often ever scarcer, and seasons less reliable. Due to the destruction of the natural vegetation, unprotected soils dry out faster, and the ecosystem produces less. Dry and hot conditions force animals to leave the area searching for water. Harvests are lost, and the risk of more frequent bushfires increases. Ultimately, the ecosystem health and human well-being are negatively affected. So, what are the reasons and consequences of these escalating processes? How can ecosystem services and human life be secured in the long term? What are the options for an ecosystem-based adaptation to climate change? The GIZ project Biodiversity Management and Climate Change (BMCC) backs the Namibian government in supporting local people in managing so-called integrated conservancies and community forests. They help safeguard the natural environment and provide conditions for the sustainable existence of its rural communities. Together with conservancies of the Kavanga region, namely George Mukoya and Muduva Nyangana, GIZ organized a series of workshops applying the Morisco methodology. Through an interactive and dynamic workflow, Morisco facilitates the exchange of knowledge between the participants. Consecutive methodological steps bring order into complex information and knowledge in a neatly visualized manner. The workshop groups are very diverse, as they encompass women and men of different age, profession, as well as educational, ethnic, and language background. In Namibia, local farmers and artisans, as well as representatives of NGOs and national ministries, were present during three working sessions. They analyzed the current situation, as well as the interplay of the local ecosystems and their inhabitants. They made clear how basic human needs depend on the healthy state of the nature carrying them. At the same time, local, regional, and global human impacts on the ecosystems, so-called stresses, threats, and factors, were identified and rated in order to detect the most crucial aspects that must be strategically tackled first. For instance. Rapid population growth and the resulting increase in demand for natural resources and land cause a chain of events that lead to the degradation of local ecosystems. Different problems add up or make impacts even bigger. For example, climate change tends to make the consequences of human degradation more severe. Based on these findings, the participants of both conservancies were able to evaluate measures implemented to improve the ecosystem and social conditions of the region. In extremely eager discussions, new strategies were developed to back up the existing ones. To make the strategic portfolio ever more consistent. The local inhabitants reassessed their approaches to actively create a positive change. They condensed their ideas, which will guide their work, especially in cooperation with future supporters like governmental organizations and donors. Within these democratic and encouraging procedures, the participants got a comprehensive overview of the problems and possible solutions, and are motivated to raise their voice in getting active.
These outcomes tell us that it is possible to address and capture complexity with the input of local stakeholders. The Morisco method presents a tool to support such an approach within all societal and geographic spheres and empowers local people for a competent ecosystem management.